Hello and welcome, I'm Vincent McCory. This is Africa 54. We begin with Mali and the fight against Al-Qaeda-linked militants. France's defense minister is in the country, assuring residents that French troops won't leave court overnight. Laurent Fabius says the handover to African-led force will take place over several weeks, beginning later this month. Meantime, the French president says France will take part in the United Nations peacekeeping mission set to begin in July. Uh, but much of this hinges on Mali's government and whether it can reconcile with the Tuareg rebels and hold elections. Viewers, Anne Luke has been on the ground all week in Mali and she joins us now by Skype from Bamako. Welcome, Anne. Hi. Now, yes. first, uh, describe to us uh, what the lives of ordinary people in northern Mali are like. Um, well, I just spent a week in northern Mali in the city of Gao, um, which was under the control of M the MNLA and then also under the control of Mujao for, for about 11 months. Um, you know, it's definitely not the ghost town it was two months ago when it was liberated by French and Malian forces. But, you know, life is is still pretty slow in returning to normal. You know, some residents are beginning to return. Um, you know, the state administration is, is, is trying to return. The governor has come back. You know, state state officials are coming back, but yet, you know, they have very limited resources. You know, their buildings are, are were destroyed during the fighting and by mm -hmm. the occupation. Um, you know, food prices remain really high. There's not a lot of electricity. Um, so the, the local residents, in terms of their daily lives, are still are still struggling, you yeah. know, and in a certain sense, too, even though this kind of the dancing in the streets is kind of over, you know, that initial exuberance after the end of the occupation, you know, they, they still really seem to be processing to me, you know, everywhere I went, people had stories to tell about their life under occupation, about mm -hmm. various abuses they suffered. And you know, they're still kind of coming to grips with that. Yeah, so kind they, of, uh, they're almost traumatized mm -hmm. a little bit from that experience. Exactly. Yeah, just slightly traumatized. Um, you know, for example, you know, market women I talked to, you know, they could laugh a little bit about some of the ridiculousness of the Mujao militants who were control, who were kind of tasked with keeping them in line. You know, at one point, the militants, you know, forbid them from bending over in the market because it would expose their their behinds. But then at the same wow. time, they described, you know, all of them having been, you know, hit. You know, yeah. one woman described being, you know, being, you know, hit really hard on the hands with a okay. stick, you know, because she wasn't wearing gloves, okay. things uh, very, like that. Okay, very quickly, and how is the security situation and how are people reacting to the anticipated withdrawal of the French forces later this month? Yeah, there's a lot of concern about that withdrawal, you know, that, that it's not time yet, that the African troops aren't quite ready to take over. Um, you know, I mean, the, the difference is striking. You could even see it in the in the streets, you know, the French forces going out on their patrols, wearing flak jackets and helmets, heavily equipped, going out in armored vehicles, tanks, compared to, you know, the Malian troops that I saw heading out on patrol that were, you know, piling into the back of pickups. You know, some didn't have helmets, none had flak jackets, you know, and then, you know, while I I was there, you know, the Senegalese troops arrived, you know, they'll be going to Menica to reinforce the Nigerians that are there. And, you know, they, you know, still wow. kind of working out some logistical challenges. Yeah. Okay. Their mission. Thank you. We'll keep watching that story. Thanks a lot. And uh, that was viewers and look reporting from Bamako in Mali.